Brand new Shadow Hunter season two, episode 19. Hail and farewell. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ray. So as you can see, I'm by myself. Danny is not here. Um, she's on her way to Vegas right now. Um, we're gonna do this. We got this. Um, I'm gonna be in charge of the channel this whole week. Um, cross your fingers, I don't fuck it up. So last week on Shadow Hunters, they found out who Sebastian is. Max is gonna be fine. Um, he's not gonna die like in the books. They also found out about the third mortal instrument. Uh, the mortal mirror is the lake, Lake Lynn. Yeah, I did not see that coming. So just a quick disclaimer if you guys are new to the channel. Um, there's usually two of us here, myself and my girlfriend, Danny. But like I said, she's not gonna be here for the week. She's gonna be in Vegas vacationing with her mom. Um, she's the book reader, I'm the just a pure TV show watcher, really. Um, I know some book facts. That's because she tells me stuff. Uh, that's pretty much it. She will be back next week for the season finale, so don't worry if you miss her already, like I do. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, with all that being said, let's start episode 19 of Shadowhunters season two. Yeah, he's having a meltdown. Cause this cover's blown. They're gone. They are long gone. Oh, he's still there. Wait, is he dead? Oh, that's the real Sebastian. Okay, that makes sense. He's been dead for days. How come he his body doesn't stink? Hey, isn't that the title of the episode? Jason. Whoa! Eh, zombie! Whoa! What is this? Possessing demon. Same kind that murdered my mom. Then we know how to kill it. The Conjuring! Ooh. That was freaky. Ugh. Make them pay for what they did to you. That's messed up. They used their, they used his body like that. Filing the body of a fallen soldier yeah. into a booby trap is sadly par for the course for Valentine's. Very fucked up. Possessing. I speak on behalf of the downworld. Damn. Is this true? Come on. Henceforth, when you need anything, from you and I both know the Seely Queen doesn't have your best interests at heart. To be honest, I don't think she has a heart. Ha <laughs> ha! Take my pack. If there's any good that comes out of being at the brink of war. Him standing in front of you. He nods a lot when he does his lines. Refuses to work with the clave. It can be a violation of the accords. Right? So why should I listen to you? Because. Because. <laughs> your answer? Because she's the beta wolf. That looks like Seth Rogen. Who knew dating a college boy would come in handy? The word college, I mean, I haven't been in school in forever. Oh, yeah. Like a week ago, and my mom. But what if I like, like you? Get! So oh, awkward. Long time. Simon, we need to talk. Yeah. Okay. You know I always have your back, for it, And there's no job that's too big. I need you to talk to the Sealy Queen. That job's too big. <laughs> Talk to you about I'm with him. Meeting, right? How do you know this for sure? She asked about you. Me. Mm -hmm. I thought that was just an insult to Clary. Ah, that's so Asian. I remember doing that in high school. My dearest Katarina. Oh, her name sounds familiar. See, my operative in Alicante just sent me a fire message. The true mirror is in Lake Lynn. Oh, of course. He found out. Whoa! As long as you can. Good. We about to have a war right now. Woo! Woo! Look at the big dogs. Yo, they kind of look like bears. I have an open invitation with the queen herself. I just need a minute. <laughs> what a weirdo! <laughs> I just need a minute of her time, and then. And so you show oh! <laughs> Isn't that Dom's girlfriend? Your queen stands before you. You were. What? Oh shit! She changed body. Confusing. 
You're wary of me, aren't you? Is she interested in him? Is it give me what I ask, and I shall grant you whatever your heart desires? Thanks, but no thanks. thanks. She still sounds like the little girl. Help me find a blank. <laughs> of course, it's there. Um, could you? Oh shit. Oh shit. Is this the scene from the trailer? Where they're like glowing? Yeah. This this is it. Those lights just turned on by themselves. I think both of them just orgasm. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I will come back for you. Eh, I don't know. I promise. Sounds like he's manipulating him. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Do they not, like, notice his sword? Oh, no. Oh, that is creepy. She She's forsaking us. Oh, oh, fuck. Getting a lot of conjuring vibe in this episode. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh no! Oh, this is from the trailer too, and he's dragging him by the chains. Great. Ooh, that was badass. That was cool. Two birds with one stone. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! He'll be back for me. Uh huh. He abandoned you. Naive little boy. Came back for me though. <laughs> makes me his favorite song. Oh shit! I really do feel like Jace is the favorite. Best JC once and for all. Yeah. Oh, on guard. Yo, this episode is giving us Jace versus. Jonathan right now That's crazy. I thought they would have like a final battle in the season finale, but You know, I guess second to last also works second to last episode Oh You cheating ass bitch You fucking spit it What? Ah! Mmm. Nice. Mmm. Whip him into oblivion. Ooh. It was part of his plan, girl. Yeah. He has a point. That's why I'm giving you a more honorable death than you deserve. Oh shit! What? <laughs> Is that it for him? Oh, they're both gonna fall, huh? Nope. Oh, Jace did a Sparta kick. This is Sparta! Yo! I liked him as a villain! That can't be it for him. We would have been one second later. He would have. Yeah, he would have killed him. I, mean, I can't lose you too. You saw Simon. And Clace is back. I found this outside the jungle. It's Myers. Whoa! What happened there? I don't know. Whoa! What? Oh, Sealy Queen people! Did they kidnap her? The the fairies kidnapped her? Oh! Maybe because she's involved with Simon? And Sealy Queen doesn't like that. Did he tell her about the mirror? I don't like this. I don't like this. What the hell did he whisper to her? Valentine and the Sealy Queen team up, that is very, very dangerous. 
So the latter part of this episode was very entertaining. It, in my opinion, it brought the episode up. Especially Jace versus Jonathan. Because I didn't expect that fight to happen in this episode. I thought it would be in the season finale. Because like that magnitude of a fight deserves to be in the mid- uh, Not mid-season, the season finale. Jonathan, cheating ass bitch. He spit on Jace. If he didn't cheat, I think Jace would have been fine. He would have beat Jonathan's ass. But luckily, Izzy was there to save the day. Um, she just basically distracted uh, Jonathan so that Jace can finish the job. My question is though, right, is, is Jonathan really dead? Because I actually enjoyed him as a villain and I wouldn't mind seeing him again, you know? Like, I actually like that team up between him and uh, Valentine. I thought it was a great combination, you know? Like father and son evil team duo or whatever. The reason I don't want Jonathan to stay dead is because he's such a good villain. Like, I feel like it'll be a waste just to kill him off, you know what I mean? Like, save him for next season or something, sometime in the future. But, like I said in the beginning, I'm not a book reader. If he did die in the, in the books, then maybe that's the end of him. But who knows, you know, like, the show is not directly copying the books. They're doing their own thing. So maybe we'll see Jonathan again, maybe we won't. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Another positive for me in this episode was the Sealy Queen um, changing bodies or aging up. Uh, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect Dom's girlfriend to play the Sealy Queen, an older Sealy Queen. I'm glad they did that because uh, we found out that she's into uh, Simon and you know, she's because of her old body, like she's too young, you know what I mean? So they age her up. So that it'll be more appropriate. So I like that. I want to see an interaction between the Sealy Queen, the new Sealy Queen, uh, and Jace because like they are dating in real life. So like that'll be cool to see. That ending was bad news. Um, whatever Valentine whispered to the Sealy Queen is pretty sure it's it's not good. It's not good for everyone. You know, our heroes already don't trust the Sealy Queen, and then add in Valentine. It's just it's just bad news for everyone. Uh, my guess is it has something to do with the mirror, but I could be wrong, I don't know. What, what else would he say to the queen that'll like, you know, make her team up with him? I enjoyed all the Forsaken in this episode. I found them super creepy, especially that dude that was like holding a rosary. I got a conjuring vibe from it. Also, Sebastian, body demon, he was also pretty cool. Uh, he was creepy, he was on the ceiling. Again, Conjuring. I just love seeing Supernatural stuff. I'm just an overall fan of it. That's why like seeing it happen, it's really cool. So overall, I felt like the latter part of this episode saved it. Uh, the first half was meh for me. Um, I can't wait for the season finale. That demon wing dragon thing from the trailer. Uh, I'm excited for that. If you guys watch our Game of Thrones reactions, I love mythical creatures and seeing them on screen and also what's that whole deal with valentine and the sealy queen anyways what did you guys think of this episode let me know your thoughts in the comments down below i'm ray and i'll see you in the next episode